fish for an opening. That was it. Ooh, I reckon I had a boil or something. I reckon I felt a tap then. And then I looked back and I saw a big swirl right behind me lure. There's a fish in there. Got him. Told you there'd be one in there, Brent. Now look at the size of this little fish. I have deliberately downsized my lure tonight because I want to try and catch a few smaller fish. Silly as that seems, probably to some people. I've gone with the four inch Zerek flat chad instead of the six inch. I've gone with the 4 inch Zerek flat shad instead of the 6 inch because I just want to try and get a score on the board. Nice little Murray cod. I'll put him back. See you buddy. Thank you Brent. I've gone with this tiny little 4 inch flat shad, Zerek flat shad. I've got a heap of 6 inch in my tackle box but I thought I might just put a 4 inch on and see if I can get a score on the board. So I've downsized my lure knowing full well that I'm more likely to only see small fish. Having said that, I did get a 70 centimetre cod on one of these one day. Runs on the board, Brett. Runs on the board. Fuck! Ah! <laughs> right the shit out of me! Oh, he's coming your way! <laughs> There's only a black! You go, that scared me, I love snake. <laughs> but what happened, I saw it, and I stopped, the next thing you know, it's nearly on my bloody leg. Let it go, it was just a minute in there, somebody didn't it? You went in the drink, did it? <laughs> Isn't it funny, I love snakes, I handle them all the time, I photograph them. It doesn't matter how much you love them and respect them, when they're near your feet, they still give you a bloody fright. <laughs> Oh, what a, what a gem. Brett has got a fish. It's about the same size as the one I got earlier. Well done, Brett. Would you like some help to land with it? Yeah, I've, I've lost my grippers and I've lost my flies. Oh, yeah, it's meant to be keeping an eye open for them, aren't I? Ah, oh, it's too late for them. they be long gone. <laughs> nice little trout. Should it be only, what, 25? Not bigger than that. Well, but I hope you didn't want to hold no, that no, one up no, for the no. camera. Well, you still can. He's just, exactly. he's parked right next to your foot. He's, a... he's confused. <laughs> Once you turn him around, he'll give you a bid farewell. Look at that. Isn't he just beautiful? Love the little trout cod that Brett's just caught. There it goes. Oh, there he, goes. Happy. he took Straight off so quick, I didn't see which direction he went. Right back where I got him. You got him out of there, did you? Right You're the man. Uh oh. Hey, Alan, what are you doing sitting down? Are you all right? <laughs> you right? You were sinking that mud, did you? Mother Nature is amazing. Have a look at these trees with all the branches missing. Here's all the branches along the river after a storm recently. And now it's 42 degrees with a howling northerly wind and I'm surprised that there's no smoke in the sky. But if we do see a plume of smoke, it's going to grow pretty quick. Oh, I've got him. <laughs> Look at the size of him. He's tiny. No, he's on that little depths buzz jet. Righty -o, folks, I'm not sure how well these video camera sunglasses are picking this up because it's quite dark and I haven't got my headlamp on. But I've just got this little Murray cod, it'd be lucky to be 30 centimetres long. 
on the Depths Buzzjet surface lure. Unreal. The three little fish tonight we've caught, Brett and I. Oh, there he goes. I just pulled the, the last hook out and he fell into the water and he will swim off nicely and the mosquitoes are carrying me away. I'm not sure whether you can see it or not, so I'll hold it against the sky. But that's the Depths Buzzjet. It's a little plastic surface lure. I think it's distributed by Dogtooth Distribution. It's got a little propeller on the back and it just paddles and plops at the same time. And it was enough to lure that hungry little Murray cut out. I wonder what would happen to the ecosystem if mozzies were removed. I wonder if it would make a big difference if you could just kill every mozzie. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of things that uh, would feed on them. Got him! Oh, I missed him! I didn't practice the dead hands technique, but I was too busy talking about mosquitoes, I just reeled it in at 100 mile an hour.